I do love a veggie patch, but I'm not the only one. Who is your mortal enemy? Birds and possums. Birds and possums. So I'm going to show you how to protect your vegetable patch, you're welcome, from birds and possums as cheaply as possible, starting with tomato steaks. 25 by 25. Bird netting, this is four by four metres. Pair of scissors, your Bosch 18 volt cordless drill, roll of duct tape, some rags and screws. I like to use 50 millimetre treated pine self countersinking eight gauge screw with a Phillips head tip. These are the most versatile DIY screw you could probably have in your house. The plan is simple and real easy to do. You just want to drive tomato steaks in along the garden bed edge, about every metre or so, on both sides if you can. Of course, in this case, I'm against the fence. So I'm going to use one tomato steak, or three, as a batten. That's going to allow me to give a starting point for where I can hook on my garden netting. That goes over the tomato steaks and down to the garden edge. Easy. You may not even need to hit them down. Garden bed material is usually pretty soft. Because the steaks are made of hardwood and they're skinny, you want to pre-drill them before you screw so they don't split. And then just screw them in. He's looking real good. So is a rocket. You want to get your battens at about the height of a fencing rail. That way your screws won't stick through the palings on the other side. You can tell where the rails are if they're not on your side of the fence by the nails in the palings. Don't screw your battens in all the way right now. You want to leave about a finger spacing behind them so that you can tuck the netting over the back, then screw them off to hold the netting in place. I've folded the netting over a couple of times. Now I can just cut with my scissors right down the centre for two strips. The corners here, real sharp. You don't want to be tearing your netting, so I've got a little bit of rag. That's just going to go around the top like this. No one's tearing anything on the top of this stake now. Beautiful. So it stays there. I'm just going to wrap it up with a little bit of duct tape. Duct tape does everything. Oh, that's good. Now tuck your net in behind the batten. As you're screwing the batten off hard to the fence, make sure the net's out of the way of the screw. Last thing you want to do is tear the net at this point. I'm simply using those same treated pine screws as anchor points for the net to hook onto, about 100 millimetres below that top edge of the garden bed. Once you've trimmed up the excess net from down the bottom, you can just tidy it up by pulling the net back onto those screw heads. And that is it. Far out, if I was a possum, a bit like window shopping, really. You can look all day long, but you cannot touch. Give possum netting a thumbs up or down, depending how you liked it. And if you subscribe, you get regular and free DIY tips for your place.